need a hex wrench once again. We'll need a hex wrench once again. And this time it was number four. It goes here into hammer. And here you can uh, start adjusting. If you rotate it counterclockwise, uh, then you will essentially increase the power of your rifle. When you're rotating counterclockwise, you're making the spring compress harder in the cocking. Uh, and uh, once it's harder, it kicks uh, the valve with essentially more force, therefore producing more gas and making the rifle cycle better. Uh, I do not recommend you to use a lot of force here because uh, if you will in, uh, pass certain uh, level of compression you will not be able to cock the rifle all the way back so actually uh, all you need to do is to try and uh, make settings so you can cock the rifle back and still have a little bit wobble here of course, you will have to do it each time when you regulate a little bit. You will need to screw this bolt again to hold the spring. Okay, so spring is held. Then you will need to reassemble the rifle. Okay, let's push it. Okay, so rifle is decocked. Now I can insert the spring. And now I can set the screw again. It's not an easy task because uh, the thread here is not perfect. Okay, here we are. Uh, so you need to thread this and remember that it has to be essentially flush with your receiver. Okay, so it is flush. Now we can use number two and a half. With this we will make uh, our rear nut not unthreading. Okay, so we have this nut fixated, uh, the little bolt here fixated the uh, main spring compression bolt. Now, oh, okay, all the way down, all the way down here, the spring is completely compressed. We have the max power here. Let's push this. Okay our auto sear <laughs> mechanism and now let's close our door
sound is still awful, but this is all we can do with this rifle. Yeah. Um, these rifles of the first series are not really reliable, actually. So, okay, let's take the wipe, remove the grease from the outside. Okay, uh, when you're working with the rifle, you need to remember about two pins. These pins are holding up your trigger mechanism. And they always tend to fall out. So, this one, this one, and these two. They always tend to fall out. So, please be careful, don't lose them. They're very jumpy. They will jump away from you if they will have at least some freedom to do this. Okay, come on. Okay. Flash with my guys. So uh, now you can reassemble and test your speeds, test your power, uh, and enjoy the renewed mechanism of auto fire which is not recommended by Hatsan anymore. So, once again, in brief, unscrew the door, unscrew uh, this control screw with two and a half uh, Allen wrench, uh, then unscrew this bolt, this bolt or nut, however, <laughs> whatever, uh, after this control is unscrewed, unscrew this one, remove mechanism uh, of spring and this bolt, adjust your power with Allen wrench number 4, screw this back, screw the control, screw the control second, screw the door back, and that's it. Enjoy, hopefully. Do it or break it, as you wish. <laughs>